What is going on everyone? Broken Mike here and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to this week's episode of BUW. This is episode 85 part 4, nearly had a brain fart there. And it's Mike O'Clock again folks. Anyway, if you have missed any of the action in the previous three parts, then please do head on over and do feel free to give him a watch. As you can see, we're going to be kicking off our final part of the show with our penultimate matchup. We have got a number one contenders match. We have got Wendy and Queen B, and they'll be taking on Heli and Sapphire, known as Hellfire. And the winners of this match will go on to Christmas Massacre to challenge the BUW Women's Tag Team Champions, Max Attack. You're going to be the number one contenders? Let's find out. <clears throat> so if you guys do enjoy this one, then do make sure to hit that like for Mike. Slam any comments down below. And of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and switch on your notifications to be kept up to date with all things gaming and of course, all things BUW. And feel free guys to check out my memberships and my Teespring store. Making their way down to the ring first, Queen B and Wendy, the NWO. And these two young ladies are riding high in recent weeks, picking up a couple of big victories. One in normal two on two tag team matches, and of course, most recently, part of the winning women's survival games team. And it was a clean sweep for that team. I was teaming alongside Meowjid. <clears throat> so can they keep the run going here? A little uh, reference there to my dear friend, Mr. Woos. They're making their way down to the ring next. Heli and Sapphire. Hellfire. And they've come off recently off a back of a tag team victory. On one of the most recent episodes of BUW. And uh, speaking of riding high, Heli is certainly riding high at the moment. After making waves in this year's Queen of the Ring tournament, reaching the finals. Of course, tag team alongside a former Queen of the Ring winner and a former BUW Women's Champion in Sapphire. So anything can happen here. So 
So it looks like it's going to be Queen B and Heli to start things off. And here we go. Who's going to get the opportunity at the women's tag team titles? I'm sure Max Attack will be watching closely backstage. Oh, right hand from Heli. And speaking of tag team division, we earlier on tonight we were introduced to the newest addition to the women's division and that is Abigail and Melissa Diamond of Merciful Fate. And they were no pushovers in a victory over Sister Act earlier on this evening. I'm sure they'll be watching them closely as well. A lovely net breaker from Queen B who switches things around in the team's favour. Oh, Heli trying to fight out. Which she does so. Arm drag counter from uh, Queen B. And there's a tag to Wendy. And we're going to get a double team here. Double back body drop. Wendy goes into the cover. Referee taking a bit of time to make the pin. To make the count. Just a near fall. Wendy doesn't believe it. She could have well had a free there. Of course, as many of you know, Wendy... Uh, being my big sister, a former BUW Women's Champion, has to find a way to make a tag here. and then comes Sapphire, in Wendy catches Getting Sapphire with a clubbing the blow there, the tag, Sapphire of a flying Man, forearm, battle of two former BUW Women's Champions are on Sapphire show right now, the side rushing leg done. sweep, she's in control, and look at Sapphire go here. The alley. Up. Oh, Wendy got caught in the ropes there. DDT from Sapphire. Basement drop kick. She's putting up quite a fight here, Cole. But despite that, now is probably a good time to look for the tag. She's gaining Sapphire here, targeting the left no arm. Match up with this woman when she's on a roll like right this. hand from Sapphire. No Wendy responds with a chop. This is how people end up getting hurt. Snake <laughs> eyes. Will that she's do it? Wendy goes into the cover. Not even a one count. Wendy with a boot to the face. The tag. Tagging in Queen B. In a tag team contest, a superstar and partner walk up against another dude. Throwing Sapphire across the ring by the hair. Sapphire gets back up. Oh, look out. Queen B with an indomitable stretch away a second. She's trying to bend that leg right behind Sapphire's head. And that would be painful, but Sapphire able to counter. Oh, look at this. Sit down, gold buster from Sapphire. Going back on the arm is Sapphire, but this time on Queen B. Sapphire look, maybe uh, looking for another head belly to belly, but Queen, uh, Queen B blocked it. Queen B with the head scissors. Driving the uh, elbows right to the head. And now Queen B talking smack to Sapphire. Oh, and there's a spear from Queen B. And this young lady is relentless. Into the cover. Will this do it? Will the NWO? Not quite. Just a two count and Queen B can't believe it. Oh, right hand there. Straight up. And uh, Sapphire in a bit of trouble. Queen B has her up. We know what's next. The GTS. The go to sleep. And Sapphire gets the shoulder up. Still got some fight. The Moon Knight drive net breaker. And Sapphire rolls out to the outside. Oh, 
Ryman's carry counter from Sapphire. Right in front of the BUW fans. And sends Queen Bee into the still steps. Sapphire has sent uh, Queen Bee across ringside. Of course, no count outs as always in effect. Oh, another sit down gold buster, but Queen Bee right back up. Oh, look out. Uh oh. Bat pack stunner. Kicked in the midsection from Queen Bee. And uh, another net breaker. <clears throat> These ladies need to get back inside. Sapphire bringing Queen Bee back in the ring. Now Sapphire is back in the ring. And Sapphire again going to the arm. This time the right arm. And here comes Heli. This year's Queen in the Ring finalist. Look out here. Northern Light Suplex. Snap Suplex. Uh oh. Fisherman Suplex from Heli. And look at that, she's sweeping Queen Bee under the rug, thinking it's over. It could be. But how much time has she wasted? A uh, hell of a lot by the look of it. Just a one count. Helly's surprised, but really she shouldn't be. Oh, wait a second. The helicopter. Will that do it? Oh, and a near fall in Helly. Okay, that time I'm not. I'm not surprised that uh, Helly shot. Well, I am that time. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm into it. I'm getting into the thick of it. Oh, look at this. A version of the page tap out. The heli tap out, as she calls it. And Wendy, just in time, makes the save. And tag into Sapphire. Oh, Sapphire just looking to pick up the pieces. And Queen Bee kicks out. What a match this has been so far. Sapphire going top rope. And you know what that usually means? Swan Ton Bomb. The twist in midair. Could it be? No! Unreal. Absolutely incredible. Queen Bee with the boot up. Back suplex. This could go either way, folks. Place your bets. Who have you, who have you guys got your money on? And oh, look at the disrespect from Queen B. Mind you, Heli did it moments ago. So uh, turnabout's fair play. Oh, Sapphire counters. DDT from Sapphire. And Queen Bee makes a tag. In comes my sis. Here comes Wendy. A clothesline takedown. And Sapphire makes a tag to Heli. And this is an interesting face off. Wendy and Heli. Over goes Wendy. Lands on the apron. Oh. Wendy in trouble. Fisherman suplex. Into the cover this time. No hesitation. Just a one count. Heli with a shot to the back of the head. STO. What's Wendy going for here? Oh, hang on, there's the wheelbarrow. There's the slam. And she's going to turn that into the wheelbarrow stretch. And Heli can't take this, surely. And Sapphire with a save. Otherwise, that would have been it. Well, it still could be it. 
Wendy covers and a near fall Wendy can't believe it Wendy with the right hand off the ropes back body drop from Wendy oh, she's got Heli by the hair Heli back up to her feet and a clothesline a second clothesline to come back on here potentially a single leg drop kick Wendy back up to her feet but she gets caught Heli gets caught Heli fighting back no no uh, quitting Heli there's a there's a clothesline there's a second and three short arm clotheslines and Wendy trying to find her corner and she does Heli you got to look out because there's Queen B kicked in the midsection net breaker and all for this an opportunity at the women's tag team titles short on clothesline We've seen short on clotheslines galore in this match. Kick to the midsection. Shin breaker. Queen B rolls through and the stump puller. Queen B has Heli up on her shoulders. Backpack stunner. Not for the first time tonight we've seen that. And Queen B admiring her handiwork, taunting the BW fan base. She's got to stay on her opposition. Oh, the chop! You, you, that echoed throughout the cheap seats, I think. Looking for a forearm. Heli blocks. Kick to the back of the leg. Heli with the counter. Wendy in off the blind tag. The lock up. Short arm clothesline. There's a second. And there is the trifecta. So double it and we've had six of those delivered by Heli. Heli lining up Wendy. The Hellfire DDT. Looks like a match ender. Could, be could this do it? Oh, was that free? No. Queen B saved Wendy just in the nick of time. Otherwise, Heli and Sapphire would be going to Christmas Massacre. Oh, and Wendy able to get the sleeper. Bridges out. Oh, Heli again. Fisherman suplex. Wendy back up to her feet. Oh, what a sledgehammer smash there. Good night, Heli. Is there a light out, but... Oh, right in the bread basket. Fireman's carry from uh, Heli. Follows up with a backbreaker. And again, not for the first time, Heli's sweeping her op opponents under the rug, so to speak. She's going for a second time. Helicopter, no! Countered! Wendy countered the helicopter. And it's just a slugfest now. Forearm to the face. How much more can these women take? Northern Lights, but Wendy's feet too near the ropes. She's in 
Oh, side slam. Wendy with the counter. And that's smart thinking on Wendy's part. Tagging in Queen B now. Double back body drop. Kelly in trouble. Another backpack stunner. Will that be enough? Oh. Wait a second. A Queen Bee of the Boston Crab. A variation of the uh, Walls of Jericho. But Helly got to the ropes. GTS to Helly. Fall into the cover. One. Two, three, the NWO are the number one contenders. But what a matchup. Look at what made that matchup so memorable. What a matchup that was, folks. <clears throat> Oh man, that could have gone either way. We saw some great action with all four of these women putting it on the line for a future tag team opportunity. And uh, end of the day, it was the NWO's day. Here are your winners, the NWO. And could we be looking at our tonight. next women's tag team champions like they plan on ever losing i won't be surprised so lauren and kayla you better watch out because they are your next challengers what a matchup congratulations to the nwo and we move on from that and go on to of course, it is that time once again. It is, ladies and gentlemen, say it with me, main event time. And what a main event you guys are in store for. So it's going to be the new BW World Champion Ian Berg, along with his manager, Cinnamon. And he'll be taking on the BUW Intercontinental Champion, Lucas Hackett, who comes off the back of a, a champion versus champion victory over the US champion, Mike Gaming. <clears throat> The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from England. Weighing in at 241 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion, Ian. And there he is, ladies and gentlemen, making his way down to the ring. The history maker. The, the Grand Slam. Mr. Grand Slam himself. 
time. Ian Berg won the only championship that had eluded him this past week at Survival Games. Knocking off Jack Styles and King Jesse in an and epic triple threat match. The approach changes any considering the title is not on the line tonight. I don't know, Michael. Part of me thinks he'll fight this fight just like it was any other, regardless of what's at stake. Ian Berg, the first man, the first male superstar to win every single championship there is on offer in BUW. About to take on the current Intercontinental Champion, Lucas Hackett. And his opponent from Little Rock, Arkansas, weighing in at 231 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Luke S. Hagen. The atmosphere inside the And what an opportunity this, this is for uh, Lucas Hackett, guys. representing the Broken Psychos, insane, the creator and founder here, of all fictional wrestling here. and cartoon carnage wrestling. We've seen the uh, famous battles before between Intercontinental and World Champions in the past. But none are bigger than this one. BW's version. This match just might set so and here we go. So what would a win do for Lucas Hackett's career? This is one of those matches where it's hard Could potentially... To uh, paid for this. Well, actually... It's hard to believe Saxton gets paid for it. Potentially see him go for the, the world title down the line. And old Cinnamon's a bit glitchy here. Oh, what a forearm. Well, maybe Cinnamon's just a bit magic and too hot for the cameras. Anyway, lovely snap suplex from Lucas. Try not to let the, uh, the stunning Cinnamon distract him. DDT from Hackett and of course Lucas will be uh, defending his Intercontinental Championship in a few weeks at Christmas Massacre against the former champion Prince Magnum I think Lucas Hackett was starstruck there I think Cinnamon must have said something I'd rather not repeat what Cinnamon just said there Anyway, Ian Berg turning the tide of this match. And Lucas uh, trying to catch his breath, so to speak. Counter from Lucas. Oh, Corey, he unloaded there. On the ropes goes uh, Ian Berg and a couple of left jabs from Hackett. Oh, look at this. Off the ropes. Sit down, power bomb. some damage already. Yeah, but he's not breathing heavy. And Lucas looking to pin the world champion here. He's got not even a one count. Lucas doesn't believe it. And that's exactly what we are seeing. Of course, Lucas Hackett, the only member of the Psychos to uh, win this past week at Survival Games. And what a palp handle fall away slam there. Right hand to Lucas and a kick. Oh, he's going for it again, is he? No, he's going with the more traditional pump handle slam. And Cinnamon applauding that one. Of course, uh, Cinnamon has uh, said in an interview that uh, she is trying to recruit more uh, clients to be uh, her ma anyone to be her manager. Be their manager, I should say. Vertical suplex back in the ring from Ianberg. He's got Lucas. Fall away slam. He's just tossing the Intercontinental Champion around like he weighs nothing. And he's heading back in. Lucas back in. Off the ropes. Oh. Caught the elbow, but don't know how much of it. He follows up with an elbow drop, though. That does the trick. 
Snapmare takedown and an elbow to the head. Oh, Lucas with the uh, head scissors. And uh, raining down the, the elbows on Ian Berg. World champion, a bit of trouble perhaps. Just a one count. And Lucas can't believe it. Lucas has got to stay, keep his eye on the ball here. And a slam there from Ian Berg. Boot to the face. Oh, Ian's lining up Hackett. Lucas is in trouble. The spear. And that's how he won the title. He pinned. Jack Styles away a second. Lucas back up on his feet. But he just got caught here and he's going to feel the wrath of Ian Berg, the jackhammer. Look at Cinnamon applauding. Oh, and Lucas gets the shoulder up. I thought that was it. Kick to the back. Need right or kick right to the lower back on Lucas that time. Oh, and oh, Lucas! I think Ian was going for a choke slam. Lucas scouted it, countered perfectly with a flat line. I only gets a one count again. Oh, he, get, he gets Ian. Side effect. And that's how Lucas pinned or beat Marky G. Look at this. Into the cover. And Just a one count again. Just the a bit there. Lucas he can't lose focus here. Well, this is a huge moment for him. Oh, wait a second. Le carnage effect. Oh, and Lucas so close. Or oh, I should say, I think that's, that's called La Total Carnage, that Hammerlock DDT. Oh, I'm getting all mixed up here because this is an epic main event between two of BW's oh, finest. Right and Lucas with the elbow drop. And Simon is not looking very happy on the outside. Oh, Feynman's carry from Ian. Oh, he's going. Another pump handle slam there. What a main event this is, folks. I hope you're enjoying it wherever you are. The knockdown. Ducks down. Off the ropes. Back body drop. Lucas is going. He's going to walk into it. Look out! Spine buster and a kick to the back of the leg. Look at that! Hinnaman again applauding it. Judo throw there from Ian Berg. Of course, Ian will be defending his title in a few weeks against uh, Jesse. But we're still waiting to decide what sort of TLC of themed uh, matchup it's going to be yet not a Christmas massacre could be a TLC match we don't know yet uh oh Ian Berg if he hits it a second time that's surely ball game kick out of it once shame on you or will he kick out of it twice he will not and Ian Berg, the world champion, gets a victory. And here's another look at what made that match so special. What a wrestling match. What a main event. And Lucas Hackett, nothing to be ashamed of. Hit Ian Berg with everything he got. Hit the side effect. Hit the total carnage. He hit everything on Ian Burr, but it wasn't enough. We thought this was it. Right here, let total carnage. But it wasn't a B.
But you, anyway, you're the winner of this main event. The BUW World Heavyweight Champion, Ian Berg. And seems to be Cinnamon is doing something right here with this man. Simply amazing. So, Ian Berg, victorious once again. And the question is, what's going to happen next week? You'll have to tune in to find out, guys, for all those answers and more. But that's going to do it for this week's episode of BUW. Thank you all so much again for watching. If you have enjoyed this week's episode, then please do go over and hit the like button on all four parts. Drop a comment or two. And, of course, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell to be kept up to date with all things gaming and all things BUW. And do feel free guys to check out my memberships and feel free to check out my Teespring store. So that's going to do it for this week. As, as I said guys, for this, uh, this week on BUW, I'm absolutely tongue tied guys. It's been an epic night. But anyway, thank you all again so much for watching. Take care. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone out there. And I'll catch you all next week for another episode of BUW. I will see you all then.